Welcome, folks, to the Reality Gurus, the show we take a common sense school approach to issues through complex conversation. You know, I'm your host, Steve Cleveland. First things first, good evening, good evening, good evening. Don't be rude, get in the comments and say it right back. Make sure you guys check out that YouTube.com slash Reality Guru show. Consider subscribing. This is we got a fire, fire, fire show for you guys tonight. Listen, got my man, Aye, DB, and my man, returning guest. Oh, this is my brother right here, my boy. He's seen him in like a month of Sundays. We got my man Andy. Andy, what's going on, brother? How you been, man? How you been? Yeah, I'm getting there. I've been in uh, I've been in hibernation, sir. All right. Well, it's good it's good to have you back, man. Um it's unfortunate it's under these circumstances because uh when we, uh you know, folks, let's go ahead and just get right into this shit. Y'all see the title? ADOS versus Pan Africanism, but this is the new blood version because we got my man Andy here. So if you guys have seen the last episode, uh, we actually streamed this on uh, Facebook. And um, Andy, man, you know, at the time I didn't know it was him, but somebody jumped in the comments and, you know, had some real critiques with regard to ADOS. You know, a lot of times I, you know, just comment or reply to it or maybe even ignore it, then I saw the name. I said, I know this brother. I know this brother. <laughs> so, of course, you know what I'm saying? Usually you don't want to go punch it back and forth with people that you can't get your hands on. But be, being that I know Andy, I said, let's go ahead and just shoot this message to him and see if we can get him on the show so he can clarify some of the things that he said in the comment section. So let's go ahead and get right into it, Andy. Fuck ADOS. That was uh, <laughs> one of the comments that I saw. Uh, down there that kind of sparked my attention man so can you please do us all a favor and uh clarify what you mean by fuck ados excuse my language folks please i know it's pretty late but go ahead brother fuck fuck ados <laughs> it's a right wing it's the like the right wing equivalent of black lives matter you know how people say you know black lives matter got co-opted by the left or george soros and all this other shit mm-hmm. oh yeah these weak light left liberals and all this shit Mm -hmm. ados is the right wing version and i feel like it's just as extreme and it's just as bad and it it, it, like it doesn't do anything to really facilitate facilitate true change to black people across the world and it's stupid it don't make no fucking sense (laughs) okay okay so i'm not and then and one more thing let me let nobody misconstrue this this is not i'm not anti-reparations i'm anti-ados uh, especially how they doing about it. Okay, so let's go ahead. Before we get any deeper in that, let's kind of set the stage this way. Um, I I know I've said before, you know, on air, let people know that my, as far as my ancestry is concerned, uh, comes through uh, slavery and uh, Native American. Um, you know, I've traced my ancestry down into, you know, North Carolina. Uh, Edenton is like around the town and stuff. And of course, also with the Native American side, um, Oklahoma, I got roots down in Oklahoma and I mean like real Native American I'm talking about pre and you know Seminole stuff like that you know um, oh, okay. Andy, oh. Andy yeah 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 brother yeah so so this is one of the reasons why you know I feel the way I feel when we start talking about this topic specifically so can you please tell me what your ancestry is as far as you know I am Haitian sir well, I don't know. I got a William last name. And I, this is probably some weird German, but fuck that. I'm black. <laughs> well, I mean, but you, I don't know how. you were born here, though. Huh? You were born here. Yeah, I was born here. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So, you know, the reason I asked that question is, because, you know, the, 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 the biggest issue was, uh, um, you know, immigrants coming over here to the States and okay. benefiting from the resources uh, that have been put in place and offered because of, you know, the fact that we haven't received adequate um, repayment for all of the labor and stuff that our ancestors, you know, as a sentence of slaves, we haven't had, you know, adequate repayment. There's been some crumbs thrown around and, you know, things like okay. I mentioned in the last show, like affirmative action and shit like that. Um, but there hasn't been, we're talking about just give what's due. Forget, you know, these little sprinkles here, give what's due. Um, so whenever, you know, we think about immigrants that have come over and they have critiques on uh, individuals who are focused on reparations, um, well, you said you don't focus on reparations, but the idea of ADOS and what, what it is that they stand for, 
it, it, it always it's always weird to me because if if you're not from here, I wouldn't expect you to understand. So um, knowing that you were born here, knowing that you were born here, Andy, and you've come through this American experience. Um, what is it okay. specifically about the ADOS movement that you have an issue with if it's not about reparation? Uh, to use superficial terms, even like it's called ADOS, like, OK, American, American descendants of slaves. OK, that's nice. When you want to be real technical, it's, especially when you read a lot of historical books, define where America is, because technically most books just find everything up to Canada, all the way down to the tip of South America as America, as the Americas. Mm. So that's that doesn't pinpoint anything. So technically, anybody could be under that umbrella. And then when I say, when ADOS people say, oh, yeah, we're supposed to get something, and these immigrants, most of these immigrants have dealt with destabilization tactics that the United States has done to these countries. So they're going to come over here, and I don't understand. The ADOS trying to make it sound like their experience is only it's only something that they went through. I feel like in other countries, they just do it in different means. There is a lot of ways that the United States has entered these countries and have done usurpation, I can't even say it, that really kind of, what's the correct word? They've overthrown these countries low key and they don't know it. But see the ADOS make it sound like, okay, we are in these countries. We had some kind of agency in these countries and they had no kind of international involvement. In the United States, they fuck with these countries, just as they were fucking with slaves in the United States. In the end of the day, most of every person, every black person, has been a slave. Haitians have been a particular have been slaves. People in Cuba have been slaves. There's Brazil have way more fucking slaves than fucking the United States, and they still dealing with that kind of societal ill and all this other shit. That that kind of those kind of inequities is still being trickled down to this particular day. The U.S. make it sound like this is, is a situation that they're only dealing with, which is bullshit. There's neocolonialism. Why do you think, oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, no, no, I don't deal with it. Oh, oh, y'all think y'all better than us. Nobody don't think y'all better than anybody. We wouldn't have come over here if the United States didn't destabilize our country. Shit, last week I heard a story in Haiti when they had mercenaries in, in Haiti. The United States were complicit in that. And then they let them motherfuckers come back to the United States. Oh. Y'all figure because because it's not white people doing it, that there's no neo-colonial hand that's fucking with it. That's stupid. Well, oh, OK, so let me you, you got a lot. You got a lot out there. So let me go ahead and um, see if I could tackle a couple of those. But first, first, um, uh, the, your first point with regard to um, uh, the American part. Uh, and you know, say including Canada and Mexico, but this is the thing: the American just, it's just, just, just me that they are identif- they're, they're talking about the the, the 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 slaves who were on this continent here. They're not talking about slaves who were in any other uh, country. We're talking about in this continent. So that's really what the American to differentiate. So that's why I said before in the chat somewhere, maybe IG, there needs to be. A Jamaican descendant of slave, you know, movement, a Barbadian descendant of slave movement. You understand what I'm saying? The American one is, you know, because we're focusing on the slaves who were here on this continent. Slaves were traded amongst different colonial posts. So they, they didn't have no, they did not have no national borders. And slaves were just pieces of property. That's like saying, like, let's say you have a, a Xbox or something. An Xbox is an Xbox is not. Oh, okay. This is a Japanese Xbox. Do you know how many pieces that come from different parts of the world? I don't mean shit. What does that mean? If you're a piece of property, you don't have no national borders. You're a piece of property. Yeah. So what okay. does that mean? All right. So we- yo, yo, fella, G, G, let me throw this in. Oh, so wait, okay, I'm just- I, before you say that, yeah, I just want to. I want. I just. This, this is no piece. This is no okay, piece. Okay, this right, no piece. I'm gonna jump right out. I'm gonna jump right out because this is good. Because I remember. Uh, I remember your argument of which was a, a, a good a valid argument of, you know, letting other people stick their hands in the pot. Are you hearing this as that? Well, I, I haven't even gotten there yet because, you know, he, okay. he doesn't have an issue with the reparations argument. And from the last episode, that's that's, you know, that was part of it. You know, part of my issue, the reparations side of it. This is what the fight is for. So. Fuck, fuck all the other the other the other little bullshit that you see inside of you know the movement with you know specific characters or whatever ados in and of itself um when you think about the idea of it 
forget about the nonsense. It's about those reparations, man. So when you got it's not not the, that's not nonsense. That needs to play a pivotal role because you can't just get reparations without fixing the inequities that that isn't fixed. But we just gonna get money and then that's it. But we're gonna put our money into fucking white financial institutions. No. If there's no institution to change, then what's the point of having the money? No, but but see, I understand, but we have to we have to get there first. The problem is we're fighting right about the respect for American descendants of slaves. That's what I'm talking about. You can't, like in the last episode, I said you can't come over here and turn your nose up to us. We, we, Who said, I'm, I'm, it's a two way street. That's a two way street. No, it's not. I've been, Andy, but see, Andy, here's the thing. Yes, it no, it's not because the reason why it's not is because we ain't come to Haiti. We ain't go to Jamaica. We ain't go to Barbados. We ain't go to none of these other countries and say, listen, um, we 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 want to go ahead and, and and make residence here, and we're gonna go to your government and find out what kind of subsidies they got for your people, the people with natives here. We're gonna find out what y'all got, and you know they can't stand you motherfuckers, but because y'all citizens, they can't give it to y'all, so they're gonna isolate y'all in this corner over here and keep y'all away from the resources, but allow Americans to come over here, American blacks to come over here and settle, and 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 take advantage of the shit that's supposed to be for y'all. And we gonna look at uh, okay. Wait, so wait, wait, I mean, wait, American wait, wait, Andy, we gonna look at we gonna look at y'all. Like you know, look at these motherfuckers and get your shit together. I mean, why, why you living in a why you living in a metal a house with a metal roof? Why don't you come over here and and, and get some of these resources and do what you got to do? Not understanding that there's things, there's systems in place that are keeping us from being able to do that. There's differences, Andy. Like I said in the last episode, man, the shit didn't stop in 1865. I'm gonna ask you, when did when did slavery end in Haiti? When did it end in Haiti? 18, 1804. Right, so if it ended in oh no no technically and they had a particular no no they had a particular point when it end, ended in the um 1790s and then Napoleon tried to put it back up and then after that it ended again like when, when, in 1804. When did Jim Crow start in uh in Haiti? What year? When did Jim Crow? Well, do you know how much? You, you know how Haiti is still one of the most impoverished countries due to neocolonialism. I don't understand. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, okay, so all right, let's 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 clarify this though. And all those countries, all those places that you were talking about, is still suffering from poverty right now. Yes, but uh, because okay, American, here's, here's, the American here, here, here's here's the thing. This is one of the things that you know because I'm a, I'm gonna invoke Trump's name real quick. When he made that comment a while back about shithole countries, right? And everybody flew off the fucking handle, right? When, when you really think about it, you're talking okay. about Haiti being so impoverished, right? So in your opinion, taking color and shit out of it, is the country a shithole? Okay. I'm asking you. Is the country a I'm asking you. If you take color out of it, is the place basically you saying it's impoverished? This is your word. Would you consider it a shithole? No. All right. So you're going to make the argument that it's one of the most impoverished nations on this earth. But you can't say to me that you would consider it a shithole. You can't. Say so that. basically you put so basically basically you putting the onus on us rather than white. No, no. That's what that's all. I know. I just I can't. You put, no, you put the onus on us. Andy, I can't finish. The you put the onus because y'all have people have because black people. So black people have economic issues. So you put an onus on other black people rather than the people that's causing the issue. No, I can't finish the argument. And then you then asking the people for a check. No, I basically, I just said I can't finish the argument until you answer the question. I wanted to know from you would you consider Haiti a shithole based on your? No, I don't consider Haiti a shithole. Okay, so let me say this then. Let me say this. Alabama, Alabama, right, is reportedly has the worst, the worst poverty of all the developed nations in the fucking world, right? I will say if you want to if you want to label Alabama as that, I will consider it a fucking shithole. The area would be considered a shithole. I'm not gonna play around with this shit. It is what it is. Does it need assistance? Yes, it does. Am I pointing fingers at the residents? No, I'm not. I just want you to stand on what you said, bro. If it's one of the most impoverished nations in the world, why wouldn't you consider it a shithole? Obviously, it's not because you want to go take residence because you're here. Because you're here. So obviously it must be something going on. Okay. So what's your problem with? I want you to just stand on it. So okay, but what is your point? What does okay. this have to do with reparations? So here's, have to do. so here's my point. When did Jim Crow take place in fucking Haiti? When did when when did it take place? 
I want you to explain that to me because when we differ, when I tell you I want to differentiate between the experiences in these different countries, this is what I'm talking about. Long after 1865, we've been dealing with shit in this country. You understand what I'm saying? So I'd be damned if someone's going to come over here. Benefit, benefit from this stuff that's put in place for American descendants of slaves and then turn their nose up at us because we're trying to go get what's due to us. That's the only That's problem. a two-way street. People have ideological, that's, a, that's a two-way street. There's ideological difference. I your country, Andy. I didn't come there. I identify with slave. Okay. You, you, still, you still not even. You still not really telling me. You still not telling me how ADUS is a is a, a good movement. You still not telling me how it's a good movie. Because okay, so now we. Can, how it's a, okay, a movement that we can yeah. Okay, so after eighteen sixty five, after, after, after and you said and America's America's cover the whole South America. South South America is part of the all of this is under the American umbrella. If you want to be real honest, so if you want to pinpoint it, Haiti could go in there. Cuba, a lot of these places places was U.S. satellite states, proxy states that they have exploited through neo-colonialism. Again. And so I, and I, and that can also be included as well. And I, and I, if you want to be honest, so call it U.S. No, no, like no, U.S. I, I, listen, it's not I, called. It's I, called I, American I, Listen, listen, listen. We can, uh, we, can it's not that, we can argue. We can argue that point, you know, until the cows come home. Or, yeah, but or, these nuances count, and that's why I don't like eighty West because they want to gloss over it. Listen to what I'm saying, though. We that is a that is a point that you know we don't even it, we don't need to waste any time on that. Like I said, they're only using the term American because of they want to talk about the slaves on this this continent. Now you want to you want to jump. Across an ocean. This is a South whole America and North America also includes Central America. Say again. North America also includes Central America and South America. South America is a separate continent, but it's still technically this side of the this side of the Earth is called the Americas. Well, is it me, not? Me, so don't call it let me, ADOS. Let me that's the OS. Let me do this for ADOS. Then. Let me do this for ADOS. Um, in this, in 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 the continent of North America, since you made that argument about you know Canada and Mexico, whatever, even though you know I'm talking about the slavery that took place in a specific area on this continent, con- continent. Even if I say fuck it, let's get rid of the American. Just take the A off the okay. off of this acronym. Even if, does that change my point, Andy? Does that change? No, my descendant point? of slavery because everybody, every I'm a descendant of a slave as well. I, I, but I said what difference but, but the difference is the experience, bro. I asked you when did they start I don't give a fuck about the experience. If we all being exploited at this if we all press at this point, a bullet is not gonna see that I'm American, a bullet is not gonna see that I'm Bayesian, a bullet is not gonna see I'm Jamaican. So I said that well, what happened to I, 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 what about Diallo when Diallo got shot? They seen that he was African? That don't make no sense. It does make sense because that's my point. If you are still experiencing, or if you guys are experiencing what we experiencing, it doesn't make sense to me that you would look at the AOS movement and have a problem with it. You motherfuckers. Poverty is the same language, language all over the, the world. Poverty is the, the same it's language not, all over the world. It's not okay. Yeah, so let's do this because because we oh, okay. So all right, so let's open it up, Andy, because we're gonna we'll get back into it. I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, guys, you know, leave these guys alienated. So D. Andy, I mean, y'all, 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 y'all see what's going on here. You see where it is that, you know, we're having our little issues or whatever. Uh, give me an idea of what you feel about the situation based on what you've heard. Dee Dee. Go ahead. You, you start with see, see, this is where things get complicated. And we're going to have to figure this thing out. And it gets really. ain't nothing to figure out. It's, it's, <laughs> it's about to figure oh, out. No, 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 I can see both sides perspective and there are valid arguments on both sides, but it gets personal because it divides as such when we say, damn, okay, so hold up, hold up. My people was affected by slavery too, you know what I'm saying? And we in the Americas, why we don't get none of that? But then I understand the standpoint that says, hold up, it's time for us to get paid right here. And, it, it, and we fighting for that, and we're going to get that. So I, I understand that, but we're going to have to figure this thing out because it's, 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 it's becoming so divisive, and I don't want it to get away from the reparations. I don't want it to get away from that. The reparations is useless if the institutions are still intact. If we put in our money in Chase and Bank of America... Well, 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 at that point, we have to figure out 
or, or maybe that question needs to be asked in this episode. We're going to get to what, it. You what, just got what do we need? What, 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 what do we need to receive? This is this is what I'm saying. We're going to get to that. I just needed Andy to just you know state his claim, stand on it, so then as we moved on, right? There's no confusion. We got caught up in some bullshit, right? And we had to kind of you know move to you guys because we were taking too much time. But at the end of the day, Andy, I just want to know where you stand. You know where I stand. We're going to open this whole fucking can of tuna up in about 10 minutes. Let me just get this shit going, all right? And we're going to pop it off. DP, come on, talk to me, man. How you feel about this energy, man? I mean, it's, the energy is energy. But, I mean, at the same time, my stance is still the same as when I started the last episode. Like, I have no problems with the reparations as well, and I have no problem with... Um, American descendants of slaves claiming their their culture here, their their experiences, their descendancy here. I have no problems with that personally, but I have the same fear as well. Like this separates a whole bunch of other experiences. You know what I mean? This separates a whole bunch of other people that was here that is experiencing it with with as well. That's why you know I mentioned my son and and mentioned my 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 wife and everything else because we are coalescing here as 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 black people. And the black experience, and I think, the, and and what I'm trying to figure out in this conversation now, as 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 y'all talking, and I'm listening to it, because I'm wondering what really, when we're talking about just reparations, like what takes away from reparations when we start talking about immigrants here, like like it's it's kind of seeming like it's being said that immigrants are willingly taking away this idea of reparations from people when reparations are not even. It just really started becoming a talking point now for for the, the mainstream media that this got nothing to do with those immigrants at all. But I feel Does like it? I feel I feel like that's that's some of the problem because some of the shots are being taken at those people and, and again it's 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 a whole mixture of black people here. There's a whole mixture of blood of black culture here that it, it makes it much trickier than just saying it's going to be one specific group of black people with American descent of states because you have so many. So I, I think that's what's making this whole shit confusing. I think if we break it down to reparations, we can. If we're talking about culture, we can. But then when we start talking about the other shit, about the mixtures culturally, and, and one of the biggest arguments with y'all, with, with y'all which I think is, is dangerous, talking about the mixture, uh, the, pretty much the weight of people's oppression, about my slavery is worse than your slavery. I've been going through oppression a little bit longer when the effects are still here from all different countries. Like, I, I don't think, I think that is, is very tricky and that's a very sticky ass situation. Like, especially because I don't know, if, because nobody is saying that your yeah. shit is yeah. not bad. Yeah, right? yeah. Because especially that we're facing it. The thing is, and and I don't know where that narrative is coming from. That that's the problem. I'm like where it's I, coming from. ADOS is coming from the ADOS. They're putting the onus on immigrants, the and they're not putting the onus on white people. Andy, they want to put the onus on other black people. Here's the thing. I hope you're not getting caught up in the rhetoric on social media with hashtag ADOS, because if that's what you're doing, now I can understand where this this confusion is. Don't focus on the bullshit that you see on social media, man. I'm going to get to the brass taxes in about five minutes. Trust me. I'm going to open this motherfucker up for you. You ain't going to have no problems understanding what I'm talking about here. So, DB, man, you know, to answer your question specifically, why does it matter? This is why it matters. Because if American descendants of slaves are fighting for the whole pie, right, and immigrants are coming over here and they're taking the crumbs, it's fucking up the numbers, champ. Right? How do we make the argument right, that we need more if the immigrants are coming over here taking the crumbs and doing what they need to do? It, but we're not taking... Yeah, why are, we, why are you yeah, bringing yeah, up... Listen, listen, listen. Let me change point. Let me change, no. change, 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 change taking from benefit into benefit. All right? Just by the, 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 the benefiting of these 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 subsidies and these programs and things like that the benefit excuse the numbers you understand that the government shifted and changed and created that term minority so they could include every melanated individual in this land yes. under the same umbrella and at the same time yes. and at the same but that time, has wait, nothing wait, wait, to do at the, okay. at the same time allow for other ethnicities Asians, you understand? 
to be able to take I do, but you I know what the main let me finish it, man. To to take advantage, to take advantage, right? So okay. So now we raise our hand, we say the hell with that. We don't even have the whole pie. You are now including not only immigrants who are melanated, but now you are letting up. And we don't even have the whole pie. I would expect at least that the melanated immigrants to understand what we're talking about and to raise their hand right along. And we do. That's the problem. You know what the main point is that what you said? The U.S. government opened up. The U.S. government started changing ter terminology to minorities. The U.S. government started giving these opportunities to immigrants. It has yeah, but you put the onus on the wrong immigrants. Well, it has I, shit to do I, with I, No, you, but, you, but how we, okay, I have to put the onus. But I agree. I, I completely okay. agree with your point. What I'm saying is that you're putting on the immigrants. I'm saying that basically you're, because this is the division I see it being caused, is that because you think <laughs> that because the government is giving this, this carrot to this one group, that you're just getting the stick First instead of, of let me seeing that the, the government could give you a carrot as well and let, should give let you me a carrot. Out. Let me clear it out. First of all, I'm not even saying this carrot, as you guys are calling it, is only mm -hmm. available to immigrants. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying. So then why call it ADOS? Let me say what I'm saying. Let me say what I'm saying. The, what I, my problem is what we are, what crumbs we have, we have been given before, what, what, what compensation we have been given is not adequate. You understand? But in, let me in, let me explain this to you in business, right? If 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 I'm not cool with what you're offering, then I just then I, then I don't accept any of it. You understand? The difference is if you if an immigrant comes over here and doesn't have that same logic, that same thought process, and they will take this little piece here. That gives that individual or, or or whatever that white supremacy or whatever you want whatever you want to call it that gives them leverage to not fucking give us the whole pie you understand well actually honestly but that's the same thing they did with y'all here like you talk about affirmative action there's a lot of blacks that <clears> got into the middle class because of affirmative action so what do you say about them it's the and these are american say, no, what play. I it's no i say but it's the start. how much are they giving back to the same people that's it, under them is what i'm saying matter. how much are they that's not their responsibility b First of all, I'm, why is it I'm, not? The American descendants of slaves, though. No, 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 yeah, no exactly. No, no, oh, because this is why. I'm, so here's the full. <laughs> here's here's the full scope, then, Andy. So now you should understand. This is what the problem is. It has nothing. It has absolutely nothing to do with how we feel about each other. That's why when I say this whole inclusive shit is bullshit, it has nothing to do with how we feel about each other. It's about an agenda. My man Ray explained it to me so eloquently that. How white supremacy even exists or how they ran is through the allied families. Now, these motherfuckers didn't always agree, but the agenda was always, was always clear, right? Being that the agenda was always clear, I don't have to fucking like you. Color aside, I don't have to like you personally. Or as a people, we don't necessarily have to. There's assholes in, 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 in our culture as well. We don't have to. Okay, so you're bad. Bad. You're bad. What I'm saying is about the agenda. And the fact is, and the fact is, if if when you if you come over to this country looking for a better life, which is great, like I said, the resources should be available to all melanated people. But understand, right now it's inadequate, and we are trying to fight to get things done in a better manner. But if you come over here and you take the crumbs, that fucks up that that fucks up the deal. Dude, creating the beating beating divisions doesn't make it doesn't facilitate your goal. I'm saying that this division. particular group. All right, so boom. Let me let me make this let me make this quick point. Boom. All right. So the establishment of Israel. One of the first people that was when the idea first came about. I think that was when um West like Europe was beefing with the Ottoman Empire. So they had a dude called Arthur Balfour. He came up with the Balfour Declaration. Whatever. Boom. Another person, Theodore Herzl. He was probably like one of the philosophical fathers of Zionism, which is Israel. All right. So boom. They established Israel. And, you know, supposedly they established Israel because of the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. They had, you know how many people on this side of the fucking world in the United States, whether it be Bernard Baruch, Jacob Javits, all these Jewish people who had, were not from the same walk of life. Different Jewish people across the world decided to say, hey, let's establish a state of Israel. They didn't give a fuck. Now, I'm not saying that Jewish people are the paradigm that we should follow Jewish people because Israel got this fuckery that 
goes on with it too. But they didn't look at national divisions. They didn't look at anything. And they had a dude I was listening to from Chicago. His name is Diallo. People, when ADOS says, oh, yo, American descendants of slaves, it's equivalent of a Jewish person saying, oh, we're Jewish survivors, German Jews survivors of the Holocaust. That don't make no damn sense. When Hitler was killing all the Jews, he didn't give a fuck what they were. Did we fucking Jews arguing in a gas chamber? Oh, I'm a Parisian Jew. I'm a Polish Jew. We all getting killed. It's a global attack on black people. It's favelas that's fucked up in Brazil. Again, this is the reason why I asked you about the other parts. See, again, there is a... But you guys are not understanding. And, and the thing is, I'm not going to... I don't want to speak for the West Indies. I don't want to speak for Haiti. I don't even speak for the continent of Africa as far as how slavery... Um, the effects of slavery has continued on. I'm going to only speak to this country because this is where I was born. Right? All I know is, man, there is some lasting effects from slavery here in this country and it continued on outside of that, that's of, happening all over the world but, you know, and, but listen let, but, let, let, me, let, me, let me ask something to you know what y'all can't do Nigeria is Nigeria is a whole group, group of over 300 tribes fellas 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 tell me what's unfair real quick and I'm going to give Ye a second <laughs> every, every, this is every time we get on this shit, right? We start talking about this stuff. You know, Dia come in and he'll talk about all of the shit that you know black people have gone through in this country. All the crap from redlining, the white flight, and the the the, the segregation and the, the, the fucking uh, mass incarceration and everything, right? Now, I go to set that up for a basis as to why the experience in this country is different than anywhere else, and y'all just firing bullets at me. I don't want to say No, but no, because, Jay, this, no, no, stop there, yo, because this is the problem with it. You're aiming it just at the American descendants of slave, like nobody else, no other black person is experiencing those same I things ask. because you have a tread line. So you, you have a longer tread line. No, right now, I'm saying right that, now, even if I even if I don't know the date specifically, I can go online right now and tell you about certain things that are these systems that were in place starting from 1865 until 2018. All I asked Andy was first. I started with Jim Crow. I hadn't even gotten the mass incarceration yet. All I wanted wanted y'all to do was to tell me in one of these other countries, right, that you were saying had the similar experience. What does that matter? That's the shit. You're talking about basically nobody is recognizing your oppression, but now you're talking about because what other oppression is it? You're creating, you're creating because the division are. is what I'm saying. Okay, so you're creating it by asking that question. So you know how you know I'm how, recognizing you know how, that. I recognize all of that because I, I recognize it because I see it. This and because I'm partly experiencing it. This is how I end the conversation. I, end the, I can end the conversation by simply saying this. Then why don't you fight in your own country for your own reparations where you experience your own uh, form of slavery? Now, now, um, once I, now, once I say that, right? Once I say that, yeah. now I sound like I want to throw, I'm even more divisive. I want black people uh, from the Because nobody's taking away it. reparations from you. You bringing it to the reparations. Nobody said don't get your reparations. Nobody said that. So why why would you because, say that? Because the pie, nobody's saying that. Because we can't get the reparations, the the whole pie, because the crumbs are being accepted. That's what you're not. You can't get the reparations because the government won't give you reparations. They gave Israel reparations. Bullshit. Why they didn't give y'all reparations. reparations. The Democrats. But they gave Israel reparations. The Democrats were smart, DB. If the mm-hmm. Democrats were smart, mm-hmm. somebody would really come up with a comprehensive. Reparations plan, like Marianne, like Marianne Williamson did. Even if it's bullshit, they should. They should come up. I agree. But listen to me. But you know why they're. You know what's one of the clauses in reparations? You know why they're not going to, fellas? Because they don't fucking have to. They gonna get your vote, whether they're fucking uh 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 catering to your sensibilities or not. They don't. And right now they're catering anyway. So G, now, G, couple, G. couple with that, now we got to worry about the crumbs being accepted and we can't focus on the whole pie. That's the problem, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> G, G, let me let me let me cut in for a minute because <clears throat> I can't discredit your argument. Your argument is actually strong in this time. So in this conversation, I'm 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 kind of leaning towards you. Wait. But I think where uh, I think when you make hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me y'all 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 dominated it. Let me get up in here. Uh I think when you kind of losing the crowd is when you start uh 
comparing the struggles in other countries. You know, that's that's subjective. That's your opinion, though. I'm not I'm not knocking that. It's subjective according to who you ask. Again, I'm gonna say I don't like the division, and this is is a perfect example of the division. And as my boy Grass said last week, I'm still not giving white supremacy a pass with this shit. But we do need to specify if reparations are gonna come, who specifically needs to get it. Because we're dealing with a lot of poverty globally. So we understand that if, if America says we about to give out resources, all types of motherfuckers is going to try to figure out ways. To say, that they How can I get that shit? How can I get that shit? How can I? I, I deserve it. I deserve it. And motherfuckers going to make all kinds of arguments to how they deserve it, too. And true indeed, slavery has been all up in the Caribbeans and they deserve something from the U.S., Two, what I do understand Gene's conversation when he's saying right now it's about us that live in the United but States. That's the thing. Oh, Nobody oh, is taking oh, 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 that away. Nobody's on, taking hold on, that away. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. He's saying that this is what I'm hearing right now for mm -hmm. once in, in forever. It's about us and we want all that's due to us. And we don't want to run into another scenario to where other people are reaching in the pot and then we look back again and say, damn, when it when we thought it was we was really about to get right, this motherfucker still came in and ate off our plate. So, but I, 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 I kind of feel him on that. Put the onus on the government. I mean, look, this, is, this, this is my thing. I, I, this is my thing, though, but I'm not taking any way from G's argument. A part yeah, of it yeah. is because he starts... Mixing the the, the 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 oppressions, and then he starts talking about the experiences, and, yeah, and, yeah, and I get yeah. the experiences. I don't take away from experience. I don't take away from the cultural aspect. That's something that y'all own. Yeah, what I'm yeah. saying that is is systematic. And instead of, of looking at the system, we're looking at yes. individuals. The same yes. about pulling hands out the pot. Yes, but you're talking about the resources. Those resources are not necessarily something that what they were created. Is what I'm saying. Those same things, like when when. Ray was on there. And he talked about when affirmative action was white. That book was basically they gave the white people the land to give them their wealth. Again, you're right. They they did it because they didn't have to. And right now they're getting to a point where they're only talking about it because they're using it as as a point to get your vote. There's a system that's set in place. It got shit to do with the immigrants. I understand all of your argument, and I don't disagree with it. Yo, I disagree with part of the conversation where... Can I talk to the people for a second? People, 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 listen, because if you guys are listening to anything that these brothers are saying, Andy and DB, you, you be sitting here thinking, I want all melanin immigrants to be taken out of the United States. And that is, that is so far from the fucking truth. This is what the deal is. <laughs> This is what the deal is. It makes me laugh when black people call other people immigrants. Like, they y'all got full citizenship. We ain't got full citizenship now. <laughs> oh, man. You, it's, it's for the you got citizenship? This is what the thing is. It's for the purposes of the argument, Andy. We got to differentiate the uh, purposes of the argument. I, know, I mean, just so everybody knows what we're talking about. See, I'm a, I don't want to get off these points. Because what he got to understand, man, is... Like I said, man, um, it's it's sort of like the same reason why we don't like black celebrities um, who speak on these issues and don't know what they're talking about. For instance, a Kanye West, right? He gets up and he starts talking about reparations and black issues and slavery was a choice and all this other shit. Right? Although he may mean good, right? He's fucking it up. He's fucking the argument completely up, right? Coupled with the fact that he's got a billion dollars. It makes lawmakers, this is what I'm understanding. It gives lawmakers the argument that black people are doing better than they really are, brother. That's what I'm trying to say. But they don't. They don't. Because like I said, when I brought up statistics, because when I bring up statistics before, like when I bring up statistics that, that the same person that started ADOS, Antonio Moore, brings up it shows it shows how the inequality hits all minorities. You have white people on top in all of these categories. It's not like minorities is being pushed up to a higher level where you could say that they're on top more than black people. And and he intentionally pulls those statistics out because it has nothing to do with ADOS. Exactly. It will bring exactly. pull Latinos out because it got nothing to do with ADOS. So I, I don't get where that argument comes from. That's yeah, what I'm saying. And I, I get I, I get those and here's, separate things. Here's a follow up for that. Then you don't understand. Let me ask you this then. So so would you say that in the last episode I you referenced 
uh, uh-huh. these 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 you know uh, Jamaican immigrants or Barbadian, just West Indian immigrants who come over here, right? Bust they ass, few jobs, a lot of hours uh-huh. to do what? To fill that barrel in the room to send it where? Back down to another country. Is that what you're mm-hmm. telling me, right? So you, yes. here, so you telling me, right? Because this is my country, right here. This is my country. I'm concerned about what goes on here, right? So I'm supposed to be like, oh, okay, um, yeah, you go ahead, and you do that. Come over here and do whatever it is that you're doing. Take whatever it is that you need to take and send it to a completely new country, right? While you doing that is making it harder for us to get what we deserve. How is it making it harder I for just, you? How is? I just explained it to you because it skews the numbers, D. It skews the numbers, champ. Doesn't that help? Doesn't that help you out? No, it doesn't. We leave it. We go no, back to our country. No, it doesn't help because the reality is by 2053, net wealth will be at zero. So it's not fucking helping. It's skewing the numbers. And it's making us look like we're doing better than you. How does it scale yeah. numbers? How 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 does it make it? If you could say that, if you could say that zero wealth, how does it skew the numbers? If you could say the trends, Be, how does that skew the numbers? Again, because you that's the I just mentioned it to you for the same type of reason that we don't like these black celebrities. Because when you put them in in, in front of the camera, it gives the impression that black people are doing better than they are. But that's one person. What I'm saying is, listen, you can't... Be yeah, give me an example, because you're telling me this, but I don't I don't know what example, example of, of, of example so, of what so you're G, talking G, about. These people that you're G, putting G, in front G, of. G, 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 let me interject real quick. Okay, so, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all know, Nigerians is winning in this country. They coming in this country and they winning. They doctors, they lawyers, they engineers, they getting up all the degrees, they making big money. So are you saying to me, when they add those numbers of Nigerians in with, with black folks from here, excuse the reality of what black folks, the, the position that black people are really in in this country? Is that an example of such? It's skewing it. Oh, okay. It's huh? Because you yeah, yeah. think about no, that. No, I, I hear what you're saying. I, I agree with you're saying. Because you think, think about it this way. You're taking the money and the resources or whatever, and you're sending yeah. it to another country. You think about Black yeah. Wall Street, right? They said that dollar, that black dollar circulated for 18 months, fellas. For 18 months, right? But 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 you want me to co-sign the argument of coming, taking, and sending away. But we ain't even got what we need here yet. My question was, why don't you wait till we get what we need here? And then you can have whatever you want. It's about now. I want to move the conversation along because I don't want to be stuck here. The whole purpose of that is to fucking close the wealth gap, gentlemen. The reason the, the reason we can't even think about Pan-Africanism, right, and the ideas is because we're going through slavery struggles right now. We can't even wait. You did you just say we can't think of Pan Africanism where the when Black Wall Street a lot of it was like some Marcus Garvey shit, which was Jamaican. Like I hate this whole ADOS stupid wait, 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 argument. Wait, as far as as far as as far as like a lot of the Black dollar and all that shit, that shit is like Pan African in nature. Most of that, most most of these people who are promoting Black Wall Street, all these people who are looking at, oh okay, you're a Jamaican person. Oh, okay. You're a Trinidadian. They weren't doing that then. This is some new stupid oh, ADOS. No, stupid. Stupid. Oh, yo, Andy, you know yes, what? It is. Here's it's dumb. Dumb. So here's the thing. Oh. Congratulations, Andy. You just proved my point. And let me explain. It's dumb. But, well, let me explain to you how you prove it. You can suffer from you can suffer from different ills. That doesn't mean I'm taking away from the ills that you're suffering let from. Me explain you, suffer, you, you suffer from different poisons. I'll just gonna But you're it. saying that, oh, okay, my poison is special. Who the fuck cares if your poison is special? You being poisoned. Again. I'll go ahead and tell you. So, 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 G. Tell him how he prove. I'm prove how he proved my point. Because I said we can't focus on Pan Africanism because we're going through slavery shit right now, right? And you said, well, think about Black Wall Street, right? But understand, Black Wall Street was before Reconstruction was taken, brother. You understand? Once the reconstruction, the reconstruction was the fucking reparations, man. What I'm trying to tell you is we need the reparations before we can focus on the pan the Pan Africanism side of things because we're sick, bro. Pan Africanism is the treatment, right? Here's the problem. Here's the problem. So 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 G, what what do you want immigrants to of so-called immigrants? I don't even like call our brothers and sisters from other places. What do you want them to know? What do you want them to change about how they are, you know? Well, well, number one, simulating into this country. Well, number, well, number one, like the the first thing I, I I mentioned, you know, last episode was 
who you turn your nose up at. First, explain to me what gives you the right to think or to say something. I'm not going to say all. Let's just say something. That's a right two-way to street. That, that, that is. That our is. fucking country, Andy. That's the difference. It's not, not coming not your country. It is. It is. You the only, you the only black person. This is the problem with black people. It's not your country. Let me tell you something. That's your the country. The country being indebted to you is not the same as it being yours. It's indebted to you, but it's not yours. Let me tell you something. It is. And that's the problem. Oh, okay. That's the problem right now between me and you, because you don't identify with what's going on here. You think oh, your salvation is somewhere else, even though, no, every, even though everything about you, yours, and your life comes from right here in this motherfucking country. But you want to, you want to tell me that it's going to be better for us to to focus on something that's that that will probably be more beneficial in another country here when you not even No, I'm talking about as a collective as black people, well, we not A D U S and all these stupid divisions. Yo, it don't make no sense. Okay. All right, so let me say something real quick. All right, boom, let me say something real quick. All right. So there was a book and I was telling Dane about what the book I read earlier. It was called The Common Wind. I believe it's the author of it was Julius Scott. So it is talking about the Afro-American currents around the Haitian Revolution. So around this time where everybody was in this thick of slavery, where everybody was property, slaves from different islands in the West Indies and the Americas was linking up and be like, yo, whatever empire is faltering, we need to unite and fuck with the empire. There was no kind of, if you're a property, there's no national divisions of property. You're a property. Here's the thing. It don't make no sense. If, how people in the thick of slavery, in the thickness of slavery, is able to unite, and black people right now, with all these resources, is making minor stupid ideological difference about being so, an American. So, 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 Andy, co- check, co- this out, check this out. Check this out. Answer me this. Answer me this. Why would a Jamaican, uh, uh, a man of Jamaican descent, come over to the United States to assist in the civil rights movement if they were going through the same shit in their own fucking country at that time? You answer me that. And Africanism. What, 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 because it's pan African. The civil gentlemen, rights movement only. Gentlemen, gentlemen, you're missing my point. Obviously, there wasn't nothing going on in Jamaica for him to be fighting for. No. Oh, 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 don't go back. I, I, I think he. I, I, I think don't go back. Like you don't talk about this. Listen, bro. Now I think you're speaking about something you don't. You don't know about, no, man. I'm, no, no. I, no oh, so the DB, DB. Then I'm gonna ask you this, and don't and don't mm-hmm. pussy foot around it. Don't pussy foot around it. Yeah. Nigga, just say, just say the question. It's not the bullshit. So just say the question. So then tell me when Jim Crow started in in, in Haiti. When 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 were the effects of Jim Crow uh, uh, starting here? Jim Crow was always had a division because it had division between that and and like the civil. Rights what the fuck does that matter? What the fuck does that matter, Jay? That's the problem. No, no, listen, listen again. Because they had the same bullshit. They had they had. Look at them compared to to compared to Dominican Republican. That that division they had over the whole time that they was there. The shit that you're talking about with Marcus Garvey coming over here. And starting the Black Star Line was to help black people everywhere, especially here. And he did it by building black economics. Well, I wasn't, he he I wasn't picked talking up with other Marcus people. With Mac- I wasn't talking about Marcus Garvey. You can't talk about Black Wall Street without bringing out Marcus no, Garvey. No, no, or- no, I was saying I wasn't referring to Marcus Garvey. The Dane thought I was referring to Marcus Garvey when I say what would make a Jamaican, uh, a Jamaican uh, um uh, uh, individual yeah. came to Jamaican to come over to the United States to help the struggle. I wasn't talking about Marcus Garvey. Gar- about more- Garvey, Garvey, in, in this conversation, Garvey wouldn't be the best example because he would be the exception to the rule. Most of our brothers and sisters that come here, they come here because, as G says, I don't like to use this, but they countries is looking like shithole countries. Yeah, what a but, uh, but, but, but hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On this shit. And, and that's, 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 that's no disrespect to anybody's, that's no disrespect to anybody's country. But but then again, the finger still gets pointed at white supremacy. Because it does. And that's the shit hold about on, it. So that's why I don't go with the point. Like, even when you say that. Let me finish it real quick, Dane. Let me finish it real quick. 
Because ultimately, it's white supremacy that underdeveloped these countries and fucked over these countries. So when these people are coming here, my dad, Dane's parents, whoever's parents, when they come here, they just like, I'm trying to find a better life because it's fucked up in the country that I'm in. I heard that America got the resources. I'm trying to come get the resources now. I get it. I hear your argument, uh, Jill. When you come here, come here with respect. Show respect for those who put in the work here. That is a legit argument, but that's that's dangerous. That's even still dangerous because who was not doing that? Let me finish with this. 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 It's not just our brothers and sisters that come here that are coming with the disrespect. Exactly. I've actually seen, I've actually seen historically that a lot of the disrespect started with the brothers and sisters from over here. When brothers and sisters came over here and they didn't accept them because of how they spoke or how they dressed, brothers and sisters tried to assimilate to black culture and within the black community exactly. because they was like, these are our brothers and sisters over here. And, and in a lot of instances, I've seen, I've seen this exactly. and I've heard of them. My which actually, right? which, which actually surprised me. But it was like, what, what, what well, what Ani, let me make this quick point. Ani, let me make this quick point. Yeah. Let me make this quick point. I have an older cousin and my older sister. They had to hide they were Haitian. In fact, they used to get in the yeah, beat, beat up. Get raps and fights because of that shit. Let me get you. So I don't want to hear that shit. It's a two way street. That story is ideologically me, injuring take, people all over the place. You know what it is? Yo, you know what it is? At, at times, I need to be less defensive because I'm trying to get to a bigger point, but I keep wanting to punch back. That's all, that's all this is. You guys have really not understood me. <laughs> Where I'm trying to get with this thing? You know? I, I hear you, Jay. I, I hear you. I mean, I, it's it's look. I'm looking. I'm with you. It, it, it's it's looking bad. Y'all making me look bad because you're not letting. Me oh. I need to get. To, I need to get because it's. I got. Listen, I got to keep it a band, man. You know, I my con- coming into my consciousness. I'm still doing, it, man. I'm still not where I need to be. Nowhere near, right? But yeah. when I was 19 years old, man, I was stupid. I mean, I still was a critical thinker. When I say stupid, I mean as far as consciousness is concerned, as far as understanding yeah, yeah. what was going yeah. on. Critical thinker, but had some difficulty with that. Um, I had a gig. I used to tell you guys about the gig in in in, in, uh, um, in the airport, right? Now, you got to understand something. I have been around America my whole life. This is, I'm in America, right? When I was com- when I was coming up, right? Um, and I heard, and as ignorant as it may sound. When I heard, you know, that accent, you know, from like the West Indies, what did, we always assumed that it was just Jamaican. It wasn't until I got around at that airport and started seeing some of the different ethnicities inside of the whole West Indies. You got your Barbados. I had, we had we had the Panamanian, in we had the Trinidadian, we had the uh, Tobagan. We had everything was in there, right? So what I was going to say is I want to give you credit to give give credit to the work that they have. That they that 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 cats in the West Indies have, man, because that kind of helped shape my work. Now, see, here's where I'm gonna get ready to make y'all look like fools, because I'm gonna get ready to explain to you how the work ethic of the West Indies helped shape the way my work ethic is today. I don't have nothing wrong. I have no problems with West Indian immigrants. None of that shit. I made a clear. I made a clear point about disrespecting the fact. That certain certain resources that you guys are benefiting from here are from what this what this struggle that's still going on in this country from American slaves. That was it. Now let me go back to the work ethic thing, man. You know, I used to arm wrestle this Jamaican cat in there named Bobby, man. And I ain't gonna go too far, but you know, this motherfucker. I mean, it was like arm wrestling on the ball. Arm wrestling on the ball. I said, yo, bro, how you so damn strong, man? All he used to do, he was a farm boy. He used to pick up characters, all kinds of crazy shit. He used to tell me about long hours and stuff that he used to do down there, how to work with backbreaking. And the reason why he used to hold two or three jobs up here because this work ain't shit. This work ain't shit. This is, this is, this is something that helped fuel me go from, go from making $6 an hour to almost, you know, triple that in six months because the work ethic of this West Indian brother named Bobby. You understand me? I don't have no problems with West Indian immigrants, bro. Focus on that one sit that what one that one factor that I'm talking about, and that's reparation. That's it. Yeah. These motherfuckers it makes it difficult to make the argument every fucking every election or whatever. Excuse me. That's it. I believe in the Pan Africanism principles. I'm starting to believe a little bit more now. You know, I understand that, you know, you know, we don't start we don't start at slavery. 
right? So in order for us to know a little bit more about that pan Africanism, it can assist. It can assist with the symptoms of the post traumatic stress disorder that we experience because of slavery. Bro. It can assist. It can assist. But first, we need to talk about this wealth gap, man. Y'all playing. 2053 is right around the fucking corner. We don't have time to try to get all black people on one accord because we gonna be dead soon, fellas. That don't, that don't make sense what you just said. <laughs> what? <All right. laughs> that don't make no yes, sense. No this, is, this, is, this is but look, 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 and and I dead I, I, and, and, and I get that, but this is this is what I'm saying. This is this is what it is for me, man. This is what it is for me, and this is why this makes this argument. So hard because I, I I don't ever I'm not taking away from your argument. I take away from parts of it because I I really think you're creating more division when you talk about the culture. So and we're not going back there. But my thing is that when we're talking about that same future, that same future, my son, his my granddaughter, is going to be in that same gap. That's not going to change. So I'm there with you. I want to fight with you because I am facing that same oppression. But the thing is, when we talk about this other shit, and you made a maybe a good point that you have maybe some other shit online that's being co-opted with hashtag ADOS that makes this shit more difficult for us to actually get there, for y'all to even actually get there. Because it's the same thing like when you talk about the Black Panther Party and Coachella Pro and what they did to them, because there's a lot more other rhetoric around the shit. So we need to be more specific than that. And we need to stop looking at these cultural extra shit and look at what the actual agenda is so we can get to the agenda. So when we talk about reparations, let's talk about reparations. If y'all want us to play the back or reparations and do y'all thing, then let's talk about it. Let's do it. If you want to talk about even changing some of these coming immigrants, then let's talk about it. But stop all that other shit because then that makes us confusing. I, I and you gotta you gotta you gotta but, read out but, but, but all the mother you know, niggas that's been on. I'll the point because because you repeat certain things that make me go back to it. I only wanted to say it. I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not even saying you no more. I'm saying what I'm hearing about ADOS, period. When I'm here, when I hear from other things from ADOS and 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 that that one part that I keep on putting friction, it brings that up for me because it, it's it's teetering the line. I'm not saying you're doing it now because you're trying to make distinctions. I still don't fully hear it yet. But when you talk about those specific agendas, I'm with you. I'm talking about the cultural aspects that you have to be more specific on what it actually is because it's going to create more division than what it is now, than what I see right now. So, so fellas, a quick question. In this conversation, have we even specified if we are to get reparations, who should specifically get it? Because I think you know, I mean, American let me make this slaves is still too vague. That's too yo, yo, it, that is too vague, and I feel like people are simplifying reparations too much. Okay. What exactly is going to happen when people get that reparation? I'm starting to feel like when I hear AD West people, I'm starting to feel like it's going to be like the Dave Chappelle skit. It's going to be like <laughs> niggas just doing stupid stupid. Because y'all think it's just a check. Nope. It's not, y'all, just, y'all think it's a check so y'all can rise in the in American system. This American it. system you? is on the, on the decline and we need to find a way to create an alternative rather than try to fucking be like, oh, I have a higher standing in this civilization. We ain't never going to have a higher seven, a, a standing in this civil, American civilization. We need to alter it and get it the fuck out of here. You got to stop. Listen to, to these people on social media that got AOS. <laughs> that is not what it's about. First of all, reparations doesn't even have to be a check. It doesn't have to be a check. It doesn't even have to be necessarily money. It's gestures. It's things that could be done. Right? Can, can, can I ask a question? Um, let, me because I, let me just give you one. Before you even say anything, let me just give you one so y'all understand. What because I, I was about to give you one real quick because what, what uh, I think Cory Booker had put some shit about baby bonds, right? Which which is basically... So, okay, you just don't want to touch that at all? No, because I'm, I'm that, like... No, that's, that's bullshit. Explain for the people. I'm sorry. Explain it for the people. Basically, baby bonds is, is giving a certain amount of money to, to uh, I guess, minorities. College, right? Right? Well, basically, basically any any uh, like to to kind of kill the, the 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 wealth gap, you give. Um, oh yeah, yeah, I heard about it. Like they give yeah, you yeah, a G, or some G. Yeah, and then let it grow and do whatever. So you know, it kind of puts them in a better place. It's kind of giving them. It's like the affirmative action shit. You're giving them a cushion to kind of kill the wealth gap for for the next generation coming up that that has suffered under the. The American system sounds like the more indirect, but that's not going to be on the. That's not going to be on the decision of Cory Booker, though. 
That's going to be on no, banks what? and other they don't even other currencies. It's, it's, so, it's not enough. You need. So again, it, it, let me. Give in y'all opinion, who should get it? Who should get this? See, that's let me. It's not. Accept. Let me give you my example. Right of a gesture would be. So slavery built the southern economy, right? Is that correct? You guys mm-hmm. agree with me that it built the southern economy, right? Um, it built. I I say it built all of America's economy. To be quite honest, it also it also helped Europe too. That's even better, yeah. right? So here's the thing, right? With that being said, right? And that was just slavery. No, that, was, that, that. Was, that was just slavery. So mm-hmm. then right after slavery, when the sharecropping and stuff came along, right? Uh, there's, you know, multiple cases of there not being the, the sharecropping deal wasn't what they had first agreed to, right? So now you got mm-hmm. the Southern economy from chattel slavery, out of chattel slavery, and we're still not getting adequately, uh, you know, paid. You continue to move down the line and you got... The, the disparities in, in pay between minorities and whites, right? All of that shit, right? So how about this? How about just for all uh, descendants of slaves that we, we, we don't have to pay federal taxes for the next 400 years? That's enough for you? First of all, I suggest you. I said, hold on, hold on. That's not enough for me. No, listen, That's no, not no, enough. No, no. This, when we talk about start, we need to start somewhere, fellas. They're not gonna, if you expect everybody in this country to get 40 acres of the mule, you, you, you're, you're fooling yourself. It's well, what is the totality of what our what, what the descendants of slaves should receive? What is all what do you think we should receive? Yo, yo, that's the problem. That's why I say it's not a check because you can't put a number. No, 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 no. I, I'm not just limiting limiting it to a check. I'm saying, have you thought to yourself to say, what are the things we need to receive? Whether it's a check and this and this and this, what what should what would make you say? That's reparations for us. Let's look at the only model that we do have um, for like some kind of a reparation agreement, you know, for something that happened here in this country. Yeah, yeah. The Americans, right? Yeah. Don't they have, you know, now I don't know if people want to go this far because, you know, I, I'm not talking about separating from the United States because, like I said, this is my country, but, you know, the deal was made. They got their own territories and they got their own, you know, I, I first, from what I know, you know, Depending on like what you guys was asking, you know, who's going to get this stuff? You know, there's there's the checks and balances that they have. You know, your ancestors, they did it with Native Americans. Matter of fact, are you guys familiar with the story of the Freedmen? In the the, no. the 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 free, Are you familiar with the Freedmen Indians? No, oh, I didn't hear it. Okay, well, well, this is what I'm saying, and this goes a this goes a whole lot further than you know what you see down in 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 in, 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 uh, in the slave states. You understand? All right, I you know I sent you that little clip, DB of uh, Dan Calloway, right? He yeah, and I and I watched a couple of this stuff. Okay, I so, watched so did you see? Did you, all right, so did you see the 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 the, the little the little uh, clip on um, how there was a deal between Native Americans and you know uh, blacks at that time, the agreement for them to to perform the work, you know, um, because Native Americans couldn't do it. Do you, do, did you get into all of that? Because that's where I don't know, that. all right. Well, that's where the mixing began between Native Americans yeah. and slaves, right? That's but you know, Native Americans had slaves as well. I mean, I just want to throw that out there. What I'm, but that's, 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 what, that's what I'm talking about. But don't don't call it okay. as slavery in the sense that they were getting they were they were doing it against their will. No, this was an agreement. It was an agreement for survival, bro. You understand what I'm saying? So my ancestry mm. goes through that. My ancestry goes through that. You know, you know, you know some of my relatives or whatever. My ancestry goes through that. So you know, at the end of the day, like I said, man, is a listen. I I, I don't know. I mean, again, I I don't have anything against immigrants. They, I no, no. I'm not saying that. Why why, why are you <laughs> jumping on shit before I even say that? Make it because the last time you said you don't know. You you have to because you because you know what? Out of the fucking country, man. Because it, it, it sounds like that's what you was. I'm not, I wasn't even saying that. That's what you were saying. But I, I don't like that cultural shit. But also, the thing about the Native Americans you gotta think about, man, is that if you look at the Native American populations now, they are heavily impoverished too. They're going through a lot of drugs. They're going through a lot of crime. They've had their 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 children ripped away from them by children's services. You know, their their women are raped, and and a lot of them are not being taken care of. So you know. Reparations is you know, not going <laughs> to do it by itself. Again, I'm not taking away from the argument. Reparations is on you. I, I personally played it back because I was born in Jamaica for myself. I think about the future for my children. So when y'all ready to talk about some other shit, 
Besides that, I'm with you. I'm riding that. We can ride all together because I'm worried about yeah, that. Work that that. Yeah. <laughs> but but as far as that, that that's that's on y'all. But you, is, you Folks, people got to think bigger. People got to think better. I'm not even gonna say anything else. Wait until final thoughts. Hey, why don't we get into final <laughs> thoughts? So, and yeah, is there anything that you happen to have forgotten or you know, didn't get a chance to talk about with regard to AOS versus Pan uh, Africanism, New Blood with a uh, star, Mr. Andy? <laughs> Real quick, I think you're about to talk shit on me in your final thoughts, and and, and I'm gonna catch you later. I'm, I'm gonna do a whole video if you talk shit about me. But go ahead. <laughs> so okay, so I was watching um a Bond film, right? It's a horrible Bond film. It was called Live or Let Die, right? Mm. And it was like I think who was in that shit? Who the fuck was in that fucking Bond movie? I don't remember if it was Roger Moore. It was one of them niggas. It was one of the James Bond movies in the 1970s. Even in the James Bond movie, black people was more united. They have, they were at the fucking New Orleans. They were in some fake West Indian island. They were in Harlem, and they were like, yo, we trying to get rid of this white nigga. This is ADOS, niggas. Fuck ADOS. They want to talk about, oh, this is immigrants. That's my final thoughts. Fuck that. Even in the fictionalized film created by white man, black people were united. We can't even do this in real life. That's fucked up. Hey, dude, I appreciate your visit, man. Glad to see you, brother. Uh, congratulations on the new baby. Uh, I, yeah, man. Go ahead, champ. Let's see uh, what you got left for us, brother. Hey, man. You know, I support ADOS. I support Pan-Africanism. I hate that uh, we just completely throw away Pan-Africanism because I feel like um, that's an ideology that we never even saw to its fullest. I feel like we didn't try it out all the way before we just threw it away. But hey, I get the AD ADOS movement. You know, I just, I don't like the division. Like I said before, I don't want it to get co-opted by other forces that want to divide. I want it to be specific on who should gain these resources so that it doesn't cause more divide. And hey, if there is some type of resources that are allocated down the line, those who get those, those resources have to be unapologetic about it. Like, hey, I was owed this. This is what it is, you know? So, well, DB, um, you heard on Ye, you heard Andy. Um, finish that off, man, and then uh, uh, I'm I'm gonna stick with my thing. I'm I'm about blackness all the way. I think I think we need to to find a unification right there. That that's mine. That's what I stick with. But I want to make one suggestion for everybody: study or at least as you can try to read up on Karinga, the U.S. United States, and the South Central Black uh, Panther Party, and see how division of ideologies, of black ideologies specifically, could cause a lot of destruction of something that could have been great in this world. All right? That's super duper, DB. Um, folks, um, I'll just say this, man. Um, you know, it got me looking like a real bad guy today, man. Really, really, really. <laughs> but, you know, the truth of the matter is, man, I'm not even, you know, the type to even sit around and wait for something like reparations. You know, the only reason that I stress the argument that I do is because I um, identify with this struggle. You know, even though I'm not sitting around waiting for any reparations, I can still defend the argument of the people that I identify with. You know, and that's pretty much what it is. You know, um, you know, I've been able to survive, raise family, you know, help other people out without the benefit of reparations. Doesn't mean that, um, you know, it takes away from the fact that that's something that's deserved. You know, but I just want, you know, folks to know that I have nothing against West Indian <laughs> immigrants, African immigrants. I'm going to get ready to sound like a white guy now and say, you know, I'm married to a West Indian woman. How about that? Like, <laughs> this, like this, I got my one black friend. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, just so you folks know, man, you know, it has nothing to do with that, man. I just want to make sure that the ADOS movement, you know, everything that they're spitting out there, I agree with. And, you know, I just want them to be able to have the platform that they deserve without any distraction from us, any immigrants or uh, any other ethnic group in this country. But folks, you know, we always have great shows. <sighs> Man, make sure you check out that YouTube.com <laughs> slash Fiati Guru show. He said it's subscribing. Got my man, Andy. Uh, yeah, DB. I'm G. Cleve. It's Fiati Guru. Take care.